No, good evening, my friends. Welcome back. Uh, let's check if we are okay. Um, here I noticed that some of you have sent messages. Algunos están enviando mensajes. Okay, going to check this. Vamos a ver. Carlos. Okay, um, let's see who do we have here. A ver quiénes tenemos por acá. So, welcome to another English class. This is the class number 10. It means that we are in the middle. Estamos a la mitad del curso. So, um, we have just 10 more classes left. Solo nos quedan 10 clases. And that's really positive, bastante positivo. So, here we have Juancito. Good evening. As always, punctual. How are you tonight? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Uh, I'm fine. You're fine. Okay. Yes, relax. Okay, relax. Juancito, uh, what is the last day of working in your enterprise on December? Uh, <clears throat> Maybe 20th? 20th. 23. 23. 23. Okay. Yes. And the rest of days of December vacations. Yes. Okay, that's good because some people work 24th even. Work 24th or, well, 25th is like free day, but 26th, you have, they have to work. So it depends on, uh, well, depends on the job, right? But yes. in your case, you have like six or seven days, right? Yeah. Sí. Yes, yes. You you can spend time with your family, with your friends. Sí. Uh, a holiday. Uh, nos lo reparten en Semana Santa, Agosto y Diciembre. Okay. Uh, no tengo vacaciones anuales. Así oh, que, nice. You don't have... Uh, yearly vacations, no vacaciones yes. anuales. Se dividen. Do you think it's okay for you? It works, yes. funciona. Yeah. Sí, porque eh, el resto de días que nos sobra uh -huh. los podemos pedir cuando tenga, tenemos alguna emergencia. Yeah, that's it. That's correct. Sí. Ajá, puedes. Esa es la ventaja. Es ventaja. Uh -huh. Puedes aprovechar esos días. Exacto. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yes. Here we have also nice. Welcome. Nice to hear that, Juancito. Frank, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Very good. Thank Very good. good. Okay, nice. Thank God. And okay, tell me the same question. What is the last day you work on in December? 24, 23, or you work every day in December? Um to today uh, 23. 23 23 yes you work 24th 24 de diciembre you work sí. okay so you use your rest two days descansa dos días yes okay yeah that's it depends on the job okay okay uh, because uh, 23 and the week you work you work okay yes 24 you don't work 24 oh yes yes okay. uh -huh. the complete day complete uh -huh. day complete day okay 25th 25 no 25th no okay. yes sometimes uh -huh. Sí, o sea, si 24, 25 caen jueves y viernes, yo los trabajo. Ah, yeah, if, if uh, 24, 25, it's on weekend, ahí sí cambia. Yes, yes. Wow, yes, well, depends on the year, depende del año ahí. Yes, yes. Okay, 
Okay, I understand. Okay, thank you, Frank. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Here we have also Saul. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Everything okay tonight? Yeah, everything okay. Okay. Are you having vacations in December, Saul? Yeah, and be like with with Juan, Juan Cristobal. Uh, ah, I you am, work together. I am, uh -huh. I am, I am, my vacation is in 23 of the December. 23, oh. okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, nice, nice that you work together. Thank you, so, Janet, good evening. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher, fine. Hi. Fine, okay, perfect. What about your vacations, Janet? Do you have yearly vacations? Vacan yes. Vacaciones annuales or... It's separated, it's separado. Okay. Eh, you... Vacaciones anuales. Ah, vacaciones anuales. Okay. And you can take it when you want. Puedes tomarlo cuando quieras. No, no? cierro la empresa. Eh, 15 días. En yes, 15 days. Ah, diciembre. Sí, diciembre. Okay, that's nice. Because December, well, it's a good month to spend time with family. Es un buen mes para pasar sí. tiempo en familia. Yeah, sí. I know. Thank you, Janet. Thank you. And here we have Highlander. Tenemos a Jose Mauricio Highlander, que no se lo llevó el COVID. Aquí está, vivito y coleando. Hello. Muy bien. Estoy un poco atónico. Pero... No problem. Ajá. No problem. Can you participate? ¿Puedes participar o no mucho? Poco, eh, poco, poco. poco. Ok, eh, no problem. Yeah. Las vacaciones, bueno, ya las tuve hoy en noviembre del 17 al 31. Well, Mis... I hope you could take advantage. Espero que, que pudiste haber tomado, que haberlas tomado así va, con todo. Yeah, because sí, vacations yeah. yearly. Okay. Sí, okay. Welcome back, Mauricio. Bienvenido de regreso. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, okay, Carly, sé que estás malita. No te preocupes. Con solo tenerte aquí ya, ya es... Eh, que es bastante, ¿verdad? Sé que es difícil, eh, no sé si tenías eh, inicios de COVID o solo de gripe, pero sí la gripe anda pegando fuerte. Eh, ah, eso te gusta. Okay. Um, be careful, please, with the flu. Tengan cuidado con la gripe que anda pegando fuerte. Si no, pregúntenle a Mauricio, pregúntenle a Carly, pregúntenle a Silvia. Yes, that's it. Pregúntenme a mí. Ok. So that's it. Y dice Carly. Bien, hay, hay que hacerse la prueba, Carly. No voy a hacer. Ok, welcome to the rest, my friends. Eh, bienvenidos eh, al resto. Ya estamos por acá y déjenme darle una revisada a esto. Ok, welcome. We are on class number 10, class 10, perfecto, because we are in the middle, estamos a la mitad, estamos a la mitad eh, del curso, ok, ya después de esta clase, ya es como le digo para abajo, ya vamos ya de bajada, en el sentido de que va a pasar más rápido, you're going to feel like faster the classes, and remember, we are eh, like countdown, como la canción de final countdown, ¿verdad? La cuenta regresiva. Ok, class number 10, vocabulary practice, and an interesting question for you. What's your perfect boiled egg? Because in this case, I consider that we have different types of likes. Tenemos gustos diferentes. Some people like zero minutes, algunos caníbales, cannibals, ok, Maybe some of you like 15 minutes boiled egg, okay? Depends on you. Sí, Carlos, es, eh, leí el mensaje. Okay, perfect. Espero que te abunde. No problem. Let's listen to Frank and then Janet. What's your perfect boiled egg? Zero, one, two, three, nine. Yeah. 10 minutes. 10. Ten. Ten. No, no, it says nine minutes. Nine minutes, nine. Me parece acá. 
Yeah. Okay, uh, it depends on you. Okay, but in this case, we're going to focus on these numbers. ¿verdad? Nine minutes, like this. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, Janet and then Saul. Um, 11 minutes. 11 minutes. Okay, thank you. Saul and Juancito. And 15 minutes. Come on, Saul. Thank you. Juan and then Mauricio. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. 11 minutes. 11 is it's good for you. Okay. Yes. 11. Thank you. Let's listen to Mauricio and Elia. 15 minutes. 15. La, eh, solo la Clara. <laughs> la Clara. No sí, la yema. No la yema. Uh -uh. No. Why? You don't like it or it's bad for you? Uh, creo que me empacharon pequeñito. Okay. Entonces por la pobreza creo que, eh, bueno, mi mamá tenía gallinas y uh -huh. creo que no daba bastante huevo. Mm, that's why, que... maybe, maybe one, that's one of the reasons. Okay, thank you, Mauricio. Elia and then Florcita. Okay, Elia. Hello. Buenas Hello there. Um, seven minutes. Seven minutes. Okay, we are yes. we're we're reaching. Ya vamos alcanzando, eh? Ya vamos alcanzando. Okay. Hasta aquí quiero que llegue. Okay, uh, Flor, and then we go with Liz. Okay, Florcita. Fifteen minutes. Come on, Florcita. Now fifteen minutes. No, eso ya. Piedra. Okay. It's good. Really? Okay. Yeah. No problem. Fifteen minutes. Perfect for chilaquilas. In for yeah. guacamole. Yeah, right? Good, that's perfect. Thank you. Liz, and then we go with Douglas. Liz, are you there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I consider for me it is perfect. Uh, 11 minutes. 11 uh, minutes. Yeah. Um, aunque, ¿cómo se dice aunque? Even or although? Even. Oh, oh, although. Mm -hmm. uh, I consider five minutes is very good when you eating huevos estrellados. Yes. Mm -hmm. I consider it's very good. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. Depends on the, the taste. But uh, here we have Douglas and then Marvin. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Hi. I prefer uh, five minutes. It's good for okay. me. Okay, five minutes is good for you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, five minutes. It's interesting. Okay. Uh, let's listen now to um, Julissa. I oh, know. Veronica. Are you there, Veronica? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we can have Marvin. No, I don't know. Oh. No, okay. no, oh, no. And then Laura. Okay, Marvin, what's your perfect boiled egg? 15 minutes with lemon wow. juice. Really? With lemon juice? Yes. Okay. Okay, it sounds different, but thank you. Very nice. Lemon juice. Laura, okay, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, what's your perfect boiled egg? Mm, 13. 13 minutes, really? Okay. Yeah. No te, le gusta bien cocido la mayoría, eso veo. Okay, thank you. And Elizabeth, are you there? Maybe not. Okay. Um, well, actually, I like three minutes in my case. We toasted tortillas, con tortilla tostada. Three minutes. Tibia. Yeah, tibia. Ah, buenas noches. Bueno, sí, ahí está, ya no aguantó a Carly. Yeah, I like that. No soporta estar callada. No, ya ve. Le, le gusta. No, pero... Carly, ¿cómo estás? O oh, ya, ya hablaste, Carly. Más, o ya más, no. Un soco eh, por el huevo. Se mira bastante bien, que oí bastante bien, por lo menos, dentro de lo que cabe. 
Okay. Sí, un poquito, solo que como que me quedo sin aire. Uh -huh. no, es un martirio. Sí, es, yo sé que es complicado, por eso les digo, no al cigarrito, no al cigarrito. Ok, Carly, <risa> espero que estés mejor, Carly. Todos decimos que Silvia, Carly, Mauricio se recupere del todo, ¿verdad? Y los que se enfermen, espero pues que se recuperen pronto. Ok. Um, so here we have this. No sé quién puede decir cero minutos. I don't know. Who? <risa> I don't know. En un licuado, tal vez. Yeah, with Con orange. Yeah, no, with para los dos sí se puede. Tomar de boquita. Así, o, sí. O en el otro de boquita. Ok. Nah. Ok. Let's Teacher, okay. I, I like it. Look at war, but I still think I got stuff. So now I don't like so a joke. Ok. <laughs> ok, Frank. Perfect. Giselita dice que el 11. But well, anyway, ya no hablemos de, de huevos. Let's continue with this. Acronyms. ¿Qué son los acrónimos? Los acrónimos son eh, similares a las abreviaciones. ¿Ok? By the way, be right back. To be honest, just kidding. Que se los había mencionado, just kidding. I don't care, let me know, laugh out loud, I love you, throw back Thursday before anyone else. Some of these acronyms are used especially in when you are chatting, texting, or you can use it at hashtags or Instagram or some posts. Para algunas publicaciones, igual, por ejemplo, uh, throw TVT, throw back. Thursday, cuando toman una foto y los jueves son de antaño, de recuerdos. Cuando, when you take, when you post a photograph with a person you love, con la persona que ustedes aman, they, okay, before anyone else, okay. And some of them, by the way, you can use it on chat, okay. So, RIP, um, ambiente. Sorry? RIP. Uh, RIP. That's another, yeah. Yeah, we have a lot. Hay un montón. And you can use it. And it is good for you if you use some of them. Okay. So we have also some other vocabulary here. And we have some phrasal verbs. Otros phrasal verbs que considero importantes y que necesito que internalicemos esto, ¿verdad? Que en nuestro cerebro ya tengamos claro que no solo los verbos normales de una palabra se usan, sino que también phrasal verbs. Okay. Get back. Quiero ver. Sí, sí, se me la canción de The Beatles. Get back. Uh -huh. Hold on. Pick out. Ok. Recuerda que pick up, ¿verdad? Es levantar. Pasar recogiendo a alguien. Ok. Pick out, elegir. Eh, put off. To postpone. Call off. Cancel, look over to examine, blow up to explode. Okay, here we have, and, and this is the, the meaning. Tenemos aquí el significado. Okay, and get back, hold on, pick out, put off, pull off, look over, blow up. También put off. When does it put off? There's no problem. Okay, um. I'm going to check the attendance list. Uh, you can use one of these acronyms if you prefer, or you can use some of these. You already know, ya saben, este, cómo es la modalidad con la asistencia conmigo, ¿verdad? So, Adele de Nilsson, are you there? Present it. Okay, thank you. What's your word? Oh. Okay, nice. Abigail Elizabeth, I guess. Present teacher. Ok. Aquí estoy, solo que sí tengo problemas con el internet. Me costó ingresar y ahorita cuando compartió pantalla no me apareció nada. Ahorita sí puedes ver. No. Solo, sí, pero, solamente escuchar. Sí, pero es tu, tu, tu internet, creo que es la sí, señal. Sí, sí, creo que sí. Ya voy a ver cómo hago. Ok. Thank you, uh, Avi. Uh, here we have Alexandra va de camino, Silvia es indispuesta, Brenda. No. Pero estamos, teacher. Okay, thank you, Silvia. 
And here we have also Carlos in my inventory. Douglas. Okay, Douglas, hello there. Yes, teacher. Present. Okay. Good book. Okay. Thank you. Elia. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Your uh, word? Off. Call off. Okay. A call off. Call, call off. off. Okay. Thank you. Florcita? Present. Look over. Okay. Look over. Uh, Frank? Get back. Okay, good. Uh, Gisela, I don't know if you are busy. No sé si está ocupada, Gisela. Present teacher. Uh, dinner. Okay. Cooking? No, comiendo. Ah, dinner. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy your meal. Provecho. Okay. Uh, Mauricio? Present. Okay. Uh, call off. Mm -hmm. Call off. Thank you. Juan Cito. You go. Yes, teacher. What's Hello. your... Okay, nice. And uh, Julissa moving. Carly está calladita. Okay, Laura. Present teacher. Okay, Laura. Hold up. Thank you. Marvin, you go, my friend. Hello. Um, blow up. Thank you, Janet. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. Hello, Janet. Tell Look me. over. Perfect. Saul. Present. Uh, pick out. Okay. Perfect. Liz, no sé si está dispuesta. Yes. Okay, Liz. Yeah. Look over. Thank you. And Verito, I guess, is moving. Creo que va de camino. Okay. Vine. Present. Get back. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Thank you, Verito. Very nice. Okay. So, um, in this case, we have something before we continue with the question of the, of the night. Here we have much the different steps to follow when making an online, online purchase. Hay que vincularlo. Hay que unirlo. So, uh, here we have credit card with uh, here, confirm your information, select the item, go to the, okay? Take a look at this and then you help me please matching, me van a ayudar para unir, unir todos estos, okay? So, um, I'm going to give you one minute, just to read. Yes. <clears throat> con Carly, parece que surgió una situación bien bien delicada, ¿verdad? Así que, bueno, esperamos que, que pueda estar mejor mañana. Bien, vamos a continuar. Yes, Juancito. Go to the online web page. Go to the online web page, ok. That's one of the first steps, right? You have to go to the to the online yeah. web page and see the catalog, see the, the articles, the products. Okay, very nice. Thank you. And who else? Any other volunteer? 
otro voluntario por acá que tengamos. Voluntaria. Maybe we can have some Kiselita. Hello there. Complete your information for information. Okay, confirm your information. Ajá. Uh -huh. Information. Considera que es esto. Mm, maybe. O podría no. ser right, right information. Uh, yes, could it be right? Oh. Creo que esa sería más apegada. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right information. Yeah. Teacher. Yeah. Confirm your information to your account. Okay, confirm your information to your account. Yeah, could it be? Could it be? Check okay. uh, the price. Bueno, the first thing, creo que de las primeras cosas, bueno, de las cosas que más estamos books, ¿verdad? Check the price. Eh, eh, confirm the method of eh, payment. Of payment, okay. Thank you, Frank. Very nice. What if we listen to Liz? Are you there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Ya le dije una, estoy pensando. Ah, es cierto, otra. Berito, Berito, la que para es cierto. Thank you, Liz. Berito, and then Saúl, maybe. Este, no sé si credit cards es tu billing address. Quiero ver. Ok. Eh, billing address. Ok. No. Mm, Select the no. e Maybe Perdón. submit. Submit. El qué? Submit. Credit card submit. I think. A credit card with a submit. Credit card submit. Could it be? Select the items to purchase. Log in. Tal vez login podría ser con online web page. Could it be? Ok. Login. Con to your account, teacher. Login Log to your account. Login to your account. To your account. Mm -hmm. Login. Here you have confirm your information. Billing address. Yeah, that's it. Thank you, Marvin. So here we have this, and we're going to have some practice with this. Eh, Se recuerdan que estábamos hablando acerca, we were talking about this. Um, reasons why customers can ask a refund and reasons when they cannot ask for it. Vamos a ver razones, por lo menos una razón, una, una razón para la cual se pueda pedir reembolso o cambio. Una, una razón aceptable y una razón inaceptable. ¿Ok? We're going to work in pairs. Vamos a trabajar en pareja y vamos a hacer dos actividades. Primero, necesito que ustedes hablen y need to talk about uh, possible reasons in which you can receive a refund. Puedes conseguir un reembolso eh, donde hay posibilidad. Y otra razón en la cual no te pueden dar un reembolso. You, you not going to have refund or change of product o cambio de producto. Una razón que sea de, sea de peso y otra que no. Ok. So we're going to do this. Vamos a trabajar esto en equipo, ¿verdad? Solo necesito una razón. One acceptable reason and one unacceptable reason. Ok. So after this, eh, we're going to have some. Let me check if we have this. Now we're going to have this later. Bien. Primero tenemos esto. Ok. Acepto por eh, Creo que no es necesario, ¿verdad? Este, bueno, lo pueden copiar. M. 
we're going to have a practice with a conversation with would. Eh, teníamos la vez pasada, ¿verdad? Ayer estábamos practicando conversaciones con would. Y esta es una conversación que puede sonar un poquito, bueno, puede parecer un poquito familiar. Ok, tenemos acá. Conversation one and conversation two, que son las que vamos a trabajar. Dice lo siguiente. What do you want to do in the future? Y el would se puede utilizar como I would like o simplemente I'd. Ok. So, in this case, here are, I'd like to be a chef. I want to have my own restaurant. What kind of food would you like to cook? I'd like to cook Greek food. Oh, if you do that, I want to eat there. I'd like that. Conversation two. Who would you like to meet someday? I'd like to meet Bill Gates. What would you ask him? I'd ask him about his life. I want to know his secret to success. I'd like to know that too. Would be wonderful. Okay. I find own Greek. Secret, secret, success. Okay. Maybe we can have a screenshot. Vamos a tener una captura. Thank you, Juancito. Um, así que recuerden, tenemos dos actividades. Eh, una es la práctica de la conversación y lo otro solo necesito que vean una razón aceptable y la otra inaceptable. Cuando vengamos, me van a comentar acerca de eso. Maybe you can Google some reasons if you want. Pueden googlear algunas razones o alguna based on your experience o basadas en la experiencia que ustedes han tenido with some refunds or change of products. Ok. So, let me see. Take a look at the conversation if you want. Pueden darle una revisada a la conversación. Ya vamos a. Lo voy a asignar. Okay, and you just said the notification. Eh, sí, Silvia. Hola, teacher. Mire, este, y en la, en las cosas de las razones, 
no le entendí bien, la verdad. Por dos, Ticha. Entrando venía, solo entendí que íbamos a googlear eh, algo. Eh, pueden googlearlo. Necesito una razón por la cual ustedes pueden tener un reembolso o cambio de un producto. Por ejemplo, una no. tele. Y la otra es una razón que no sea de peso. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Sí, hoy okay. sí. Okay, Ajá. Gracias. Una razón aceptable para que sea un cambio o reembolso de un producto y la otra una razón que no sea aceptable. Ah, ok. Ok. Gracias. Lo no pueden googlear. Ok. Lo de las conversaciones suele practicarlo. Lo que enviaron al, al chat. Es correcto. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay.
Ok, we're going to have two teams, dos equipos, volunteers for this. Conversation one or conversation two, depends. Juancito, ok, one or two. Yes, teacher. Uh, number one. Ok, who is your classmate? Liz. Liz. Yeah. Ok, Liz, are you ready? I'm ready. Perfect. Let's do it. Ok. What do you want to do in the future? I would like to be a chef. I want to have my own restaurant. What kind of food would you like to cook? I like to cook great food. Oh, if you don't that, I want to eat there. I like that. Perfect, good one. Mm -hmm. I like to. Okay. I like to eat. Uh, I like that. Perfect. Okay. What about conversation two? Do we have any other volunteer for conversation number two? Let's see. If not, we're going to select. What if we'll listen in this case to Elia? What about you and company? Are you there, Elia? Hello, teacher. Mm -hmm. Estoy con el chico que está de incapacidad, creo. ¿Con Mauricio? Sí. Ok. Bueno, creo que Mauricio está un poquito indispuesto. Ok, no problem, Elia. Bien, in this case, we're going to... Hello. Estoy viendo que Silvia está bastante malita. Si gusta, yo practico con, con, con ella. Elia, Porque, okay. bueno, Okay, thank you, Alexandra. Alexandra and Elia, conversation two. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Would you like to meet someday? I like to meet Bill Gates. What would you ask him? I ask him about his life. I want to know. His secret shop success. success. I like to know that too. That would be wonderful. 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 Um, vamos a ver razones aceptables y razones que no son aceptables. Para este caso, eh, necesito que me escriban acá, ya sea aceptable. En el chat de Zoom van a escribir aceptable y escriben eh, la razón o... Unacceptable. O puede ser inaceptable. Y me escriben la razón. Lo voy a leer. Ok. I'm going to wait. Take your time. Yes. Thank you, Berito. Fabric defects. Defectos de fábrica. That's definitely acceptable. Recuerden, acceptable unacceptable acceptable unacceptable ok let's check this escribamos aquí en el chat y veamos qué razones aparecen Okay, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. 
Claro, fuerte ese café. Bien. <coughs> Juancito que nos dice, mouse wireless does not turn on. Yes, and it happens eh, ex a real experience, Juancito, experiencia real. Yes. A mouse. Experience from Amazon, real. again, or from another? Uh, no. Other. Uh, Other supplies. Ali, uh, <clears throat> AliExpress. I had a yes. problem with AliExpress. Uh, there is one product that didn't arrive. No, no llegó un producto. But anyway. Okay, so. Yes, I'm sorry. Mouse wireless. Uh, we have Laura Fuentes. Acceptable due to breakdown. Mm -hmm. Que se haya arruinado. ¿verdad? Que, que se haya arruinado. Definitivamente. In or during the days the, 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 the company gives dentro de los días que da la, la, la compañía, ¿verdad? The warranty. Ok, a ver, dice factory fault, fallo de fábrica, flor, a color change, yes, specifically for some screens, some TVs. Janet, uh, due to factory defect, yes, acceptable, factory defect. Eh, Francisco, Janet, yes, Abel, damage from Miss Us, vaya, ese sería unacceptable, el que dice Abel, damage from Miss Us, Miss Us, falta una S ahí, sí, como que si ustedes no lo usaron bien, eh, fallaron de alguna manera, <coughs> definitiva, Elia, unacceptable, because I don't like it, yes, Elia, if you receive something and you don't like it, It is not an acceptable reason. No es aceptable esa razón. Eh, unacceptable, all damage, sí, Francisco. If the product falls down, si se te cae, not acceptable. Se te quiebra. Y ha pasado. Ha pasado. Mucha gente. Liz, acceptable shoes. The package had two different shoes. Wow. Yes. Yes. Ok, the package has two different shoes. Mm -hmm. Alexandra, acceptable Christmas spotlights at the place the process serve and when they take home no longer works. Mm -hmm. uh, pasa, spotlights, yeah. Taul, acceptable of the warranty. Mm -hmm. Warranty, Laura. Unacceptable, want to make an exchange to return for using the garnet. Mm -hmm. uh, Liz. Just use them, but how to look at me? Sí, sí, no te gustaron? No. Juancito, no se te mouse. I don't like the color. If you don't like the color, and remember when you see something on the computer, on the internet, it looks different. ¿Verdad, Juancito? A veces parece. The texture, the color, it happens. But that's especially with clothes, con ropa. Creo que pasa. A mí no, no sé si a, las, yes. a, la, a algunas estudiantes les ha pasado. Bueno, yes. I don't know in your case, right, Juancito, with shoes or with... Yes. Sí, inaceptable eh, porque el funcionamiento es el esperado, pero mm -hmm. por el color como que tú lo escogiste, yeah. Yeah, eso that, es lo que te vendemos. That's another thing, definitely, yes. Exacto. Ok. Marvin, incomplete accessories. Mm -hmm. Unacceptable damage used by the customer. Okay. Y Alexandra, abuse when transporting the product. Yep. If you move from the shop to your house and something happened, it is not acceptable. Could it be? Pero si te lo envían, ahí sí es diferente. Unacceptable failure of your electrical system. Bajo la electricidad y todo eso. Yeah. Ok, and let's move to the main question. What annoys you about yourself? Ok, let me check. No. What annoying habits does your family or friends have? ¿Qué hábitos, verdad? Molestos, incómodos. Tiene tu familia o tus amigos. Okay, and for this, I would like to hear some of you. Maybe we can have Florcita. And then we're going to have Perito. Okay, Flor. 
Are you ready to answer this? What annoying habits that your family or friends have? My friends, I have a bad habit of paying into things they don't care about. My friend, I have a bad habit of. Okay. So they want to know things that they, they are not in. Preguntan, quieren saber cosas de lo que no les interesa o or more gossipers. Se meten. Okay. <laughs> se meten <Por. laughs> eso, fue, eso salió del corazón mandale un saludo mandale un saludo me can do that. Sí, yo les digo a los compañeros yo no me meto con nadie y ellos se meten conmigo pero así son But, Florcita some people they have boring lives hay gente que tiene vidas aburridas so that's why they want action quieren acción entonces, sí. por eso quizás, ¿ya? Eh, Juancito solo se ríe. Okay. No se dio porque tiene una vida interesante y los demás maybe, están preocupados. Maybe. Por... Ok, Florcito, tienes una vida de, así para andar tipo artista, ¿verdad? Thank you, Florcito. Yes. Cuidado con tu fama. Ok. Perfect. We go with Verónica. And then sí. we go with Juan. Hola. Hello, Perito. Hola, hola. Pues sí, ¿verdad? Perdón, me está fallando un poquito el inter. Ok, no problem. Eh, si te escucho. Yes. Ok. My family can no tell secrets. They speak very loud. Ok, ok, ok. Uh, your family tell or doesn't tell. ¿Cuenta o no cuenta? Doesn't tell. Ah, mm -hmm. Okay, doesn't tell secrets. Yes, oh, but they that's speak post... very loud. Ah, they speak very loud. Hablan fuerte. No, those. Okay. No mm. puede decirme nada porque se hace entera toda la, toda la cuadra. <laughs> okay, and that usually happens when we have a lot of neighbors. Cuando tenemos muchos, muchos vecinos. And especially when the houses are together. Wow. No, pero igual, o sea, estamos en como... En... Póngale, no sé, en el pollo campero comiendo y ellos empiezan a hablar y esto escucha mucho, hablan muy fuerte. De verdad, bueno, sí. deben de ser cantantes. Ok, very good, thank you. Alegre, They diría. Loud. Hablan fuerte, dice. Hablan fuerte, ok. Alegre, dice Juancito, thank you. Um, what about if we listen Juancito and then Frank? Yes. Um... Really, no, no, no of them believe that in life one chose their friends and according to the selection, they are friends the last uh, lifetime. Okay. Well, in my family, I don't remember bad habits. But no bad habits. Of microphone for mm -hmm. the karaoke, we are away already. Okay, that's it. But that's when you are on the karaoke that you have to yeah. uh, show all your abilities. Okay, so well. Uh, okay. Thank you, Juancito. Very nice. We go with Frank and then Saul. Thank you. Okay, teacher. I do not remember uh, about habit of my family. And um, all my friends, um, the bad habit has been to name. Okay. Uh, good, because if you have, <clears throat> well, quizás maybe people don't have so terrible habits. A veces no tienen habits tan terrible, okay? But annoying yeah. es como algo que te incomoda mucho. If not, that's okay. Thank you, Frank. Very nice for you. Vos sos el de los malos hábitos, quizás, Frank. A tu familia. Vos sos la mala influencia. Mi único, mi único mal hábito es que no dejo el café. Bueno, salud para el cafecito. Ok. Eh, Saúl. Saúl, and then we go with Marvin. Maybe um, 
and bad habit with my friend is uh he low 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 with uh, muy alto a very very high uh, muy escandaloso ah he no, is uh, love la risa low uh -huh, se ríe ah love 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 okay low. yes love loud. is so loud mm -hmm. Scandalous. Love is allowed. Allowed. Oh, sorry, allowed. Uh, it's uh, scandalous. So, and it happens especially when you are in, in a restaurant or around people. So, that's kind of annoying. Es un poquito, verdad? Pero mm -hmm. sometimes embarrassing. Okay. But that, that's part, part of the show. So, thank you. Marvin, are you there? Por ahí, Marvin. Okay, if Marvin is not ready, let's listen to Liz Sanchez. Liz? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you? Okay, in my case, my, <clears throat> well, my family is small. And so basically, the bad habits are talking while eating. Are... Uh -huh. Something's loud and very toldy. No sé si así se dice. Mm -hmm. O lo, lo, loudly, ¿verdad? Loudly. Loudly. Mm -hmm. Loudly. Okay. Person, personality, I, it's my worst habit. And I talk very um, loudly. And sometimes I enter room. I know it's very annoying. Yeah, I know. Very loud or loudly, ¿verdad que sería el adverbio? Yes, and especially when people are having dinner or eating and they speak, it's like something not, not so good, right? <laughs> and so the family, yeah. because some family are accustomed, hay algunos que están acostumbrados, uh -huh. but some other, yeah. no, right? Sí, so, well, se incomoda a veces la gente. Yeah, I can imagine, but be, be careful with the fish, que tengan cuidado con el pescado, cuando coman pescado no hablen. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Liz. Very nice. Good uh, opinion. And here we have also Janet. Janet, are you ready? Yes. Um, okay. My please. family annoying habit. I leave vegetable food in the freezer. Okay, in the fridge. La comida en el refrigerador. Mm -hmm. ah, what, what, what is going on? ¿Qué pasa ahí? Eh, que guarda la, los, de, los sobrantes, dije que se lo van a comer y no se lo ah, comen. Ah, ok, yeah, the rest of the food, rest. Uh -huh. some the extra food, y al final, ¿qué pasa? Se lo come. Se bota, se bota, al final se bota. Yeah, and something that is negative is when you, you have, for example, um, a lot of food, in the in the fridge and you accumulate food y cuando acumulan comida mm -hmm. so that's it so that could be like annoying okay thank you Janet we're going to listen now some we're going to listen to an audio vamos a escuchar un audio and I need you to take notes okay and this is another good pronunciation in my case. I consider that this girl speaks really good. So you tell me then what you can identify. Okay, so let's listen. My favorite place to eat? Well, it's not a restaurant at all really, just a very simple diner. There are only about six tables in there. A couple of waitresses wearing ugly pink uniforms. But the food is great. Very tasty traditional recipes and cheap too, which is important, of course. There are some truck drivers sitting at the counter drinking coffee and eating breakfast every morning. It's like the places you see in the movies. I always have pancakes in the morning and their fish pie for lunch is wonderful that diner has been open for many years 
that are all photographed of the diner on the wall from the 1940s and 1950s. They say the actor James Dean ate there sometimes, but I don't know if that's true. Let's listen one more time. My favorite place to eat? Well, it's not a restaurant at all, really. Just a very simple diner. There are only about six tables in there. A couple of waitresses wearing ugly pink uniforms. But the food is great. Very tasty traditional recipes and cheap too. Which is important, of course. There are some truck drivers sitting at the counter drinking coffee and eating breakfast every morning. It's like the places you see in the movies. I always have pancakes in the morning and their fish pie for lunch is wonderful. That diner has been open for many years. There are old photographs of the diner on the wall from the 1940s and 1950s. They say the actor James Dean ate there sometimes, but I don't know if that's true. Okay, um, consider that this is a, a really interesting audio. You tell me, volunteers, and uh, what did you identify? Alexandra, yeah? Uh, my favorite place to attend is mm -hmm. restaurant. Just, just uh, implement dinner, pink uniform, uniform uh, shock, dry drink, coffee, movies, Monday morning, fish for lunch. There are follow up. Uh, let's say I don't too. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Nice uh, words. Okay, Juancito. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. My favorite simple diner, but very great importance, of course. Driver, drink coffee, movie, pancakes in the morning. Uh, actor James Dean, his <laughs> lunch is wonderful. Sometimes I don't know. Okay, okay. yeah. James Dean, that's an, uh, another well famous actor, right? Okay, do we have, thank you, Juancito, very good information similar to Alexandra. Do you have anyone else? Alguien más que tenga más info? Yeah, teacher. Okay, Marvin, tell us what you uh, got. But I don't tell any words, so I try to explain what about Archie talking. Mm -hmm. uh, she was talking about her favorite place to eat, and she talked it's a very basic place, but it's very tasty, that's food. Mm -hmm. And mentioned about an actor visit in the past, this place too. Mm hmm Really good. Thank you. Yes, it's like a combination of characteristics. Like that's like a, her favorite place, but it is not that good, right? Okay, my favorite place to eat. Well, it's not a restaurant at all. I just have a simple diner. Dinner se dice cuando se acompaña, por ejemplo, have dinner or dinner time. Significa cena. Diner también significa cena. Okay, so there are only about six tables in there, so it is a very small restaurant. A couple of waiters wearing ugly pink uniforms. O sea que utilizan todavía el uniforme rosado, feo, es similar to the cafés from the, what? The 60s, maybe, de los 60s, de los 50s, yes. And so on the, it is like, like a vintage uh, restaurant. Es como un... un Okay. And they say that, well, that there are some photographs. And even they say that the actor James Dean ate there sometimes. Well, uh, part of the audio. Thank you. 
And we're going to check, let me see, what we have here, another exercise. Okay. So we're going to use these, that, these, and those. You already know the difference of these words. Ya saben la diferencia de estas palabras, ¿verdad? Ya saben que this es para esto. This es para estos. That es para eso. Those es para aquellos o para esos. Ok. So take a look at these sentences. Vean esas oraciones. And you tell me what do you consider is the right answer. This, that, this, those. Ok. Let's take a look. Revisemos acá y luego las completamos. Okay, let's listen to some of you. Saul, can you help us? And then we go with Gisela. Maybe one, two, three, four, five, or six. Remember, maybe we can talk about singular or plural. Podemos hablar de singulares o plurales. Yes, Saul, any idea? And the number one is how cold you buy, you buy something like uh, this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Si se dan cuenta, en paréntesis está el contexto. How could you buy something like this? ¿Cómo puedes comprar algo como esto? Toma, talking about the purse in your hand. Hablando acerca de un, una monedera, un bolso, en tu mano. How could you buy something like this? Okay, thank you. Gisela, and after Gisela, we go with Laura. Mm -hmm. These reports are very heavy. Okay, with a pile of reports on your lap. Mm -hmm. Yes. This. Con una que columna de reportes, ¿verdad? Ahí a tu lado. En tu, ¿qué? A tu lado, ¿verdad? En tu escritorio. These reports are very heavy. Cargándolos. ¿Verdad? Okay. Estos reportes son muy eh, pesados. Laura. Can you help us? And after Laura, we're going to listen to Juancito. Uh, number three. Number three. Yes. Um, I had to wear um, this. Yeah. Comfortable shoes I bought. Yes, I yes I had to wear this comfortable I shoes I bought. Mm -hmm. Tuve que usar estos zapatos uh -huh. que compré durante una larga caminata. Que dice acá. Thank you. Okay, Juancito, and after Juan, we go with uh, Frank. Can you bring me this cup I left in Anna Stacks? Okay. Puedes traerme esa taza que dejé en el escritorio de Ana, pointing, señalando la taza lejos del escritorio. No es this, pero sí es la otra, Juancito, ¿qué es? This. Mm -mm. Yes. Dos. That. 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 Oh, ok. Mm -hmm. Ok, good. Este verbo es importante. Pointing, sin point. Significa punto, pero cuando usted dice point, también es señalar. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Uh, we go Frank, and after Frank, we're having uh, Alexandra. Mm. Five or the, six? Five. five. Okay. This. Mm, mm, mm. Senada, that. Or this? Uh, what number? Five. Five, uh -huh. Dice abajo, acerca de una, de una eh, pintura colgada en la pared. Uh -huh. Plural. 
This. Yes. Ajá, vaya. Dice this cuando word. lo tenés cerca, tocando, pero cuando está señalando, o lo tenés así lejos, sería those. Oh. Uh -huh. oh. Those, esos, son los niños del señor Pineda. Those are. Uh -huh. Ok, si podrías utilizar el this, este this, pero si lo estuvieras aquí a la par abrazándolo, these are, ¿verdad? Pero como está señalando, those are. Ok, yes, Alexandra, can you help us with number six, please? Um, does Victory to see my wife and daughter? Daughter. Daughter or daughter, yes. In that picture you see in esa... Uh, foto es eh, mi esposa y mi hija. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, we continue now with this. Let me check this. Okay. Complete the different questions and ask them to a partner. Okay. What can you? When could you? Where can you? How could you? Who can you? Why could you? Necesito que me elijan por, al menos una de estas y escríbanlas en el chat. Cualquiera de estas. What can you? When could you? Where can you? How could you? Who can you? Why could you? Son preguntas. What can you do eh, on the weekend? ¿Qué puedes hacer el fin de semana? When, ¿Cuándo podrías? ¿Verdad? ¿Dónde podrías? ¿Cómo podrías? Yes, Abel, what can you say? ¿Qué puedes decir? That's a good one. Let's see some others. Vamos a ver quiénes más se escriben ahí en el chat. We have some others here. A ver qué más puede ser las seis. Why could you? Cinco. Who can you? Juan, what can you do on Wednesday for dinner? Sí, ¿qué puedes hacer el miércoles para cenar? Good one. Sopa de plátano. Ok, we're waiting for the rest. Mauricio says, what can you do next weekend? Perfect. Good, good questions. Ok, let's see. Any other uh, questions? Flor, what can you do on your lunch hour? Mm -hmm. Janet, when could you run? Okay. Thank you, I'm waiting for the rest. Estoy esperando el resto para avanzar. Yes, I would. How could you fix this? Sí, ¿cómo podrías reparar esto? Very nice. Uh, tenemos Juan. Why were you able to finish that pair? Sería task. Quizá Juancito. That pair. Uh, yes, Gisela. How could you work during the meeting? Sí, Gisela. That's it. Ok, very nice. Thank you for your sentences. Well, más bien preguntas. Your questions. And let's check this. Gisela, hoy te toca la canción, ¿verdad, Giselita? Vaya. Yeah. Ok. La va a cantar. ¿Estás no. lista? La va. Mm. Mira, gran sonrisa. Ok. <laughs> eh, dice Elizabeth, when could you visit? Uh, my parents sin la A, ¿verdad? My parents, very nice, Elizabeth Good questions Ajá, Gisela Vamos a ver ¿Qué nos trae? Vamos a ver, Giselita ¿Qué nos vas a presentar ahora, mujer? Vaya, estamos listos acá Ahí va y la, y la carita, es como se ríe. 
<risa> ya te estabas durmiendo, mira. Ajá. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver qué tienes para nosotros. Ok. Ok. I'm ready to sound this. Uh, tell me why. Any nothing but a attention. Tell me why. Any nothing but a mistake. Tell me why. I never want to hear you say. I want to live that way. How I can see that we fall apart from the way that I used to be. No matter the distance, I want you to know that deep down inside for me. You are my fire, the one desire, you are. Don't wanna hear you say any nothing but a hurt touch, any nothing but a mistake. Don't wanna hear you say. I never wanna hear you say, I want it that way. Okay. I want it that way. Una, una canción icónica. <laughs> 1900 entonces. Mil no, hombre, 1900 hace bueno, poco. Vamos a hacerle la coreografía. A ver, Giselita, la vas a cantar. Necesito cinco chicos. Va, oiga. Ahí, Juancito, está uno. Francisco, Saúl, ahí lo voy sacando. Ay, ah, vaya. A Marvin. Eh, mi canción es. Eh... Eh, Bye, a ver. I want it way. <laughs> okay, Backstreet Boys. Yeah. I want it. I want it that way, right? And like you said, tell me why. Ain't nothing but a thought. Tell me why. I nothing but a mean say. Tell me why. I never want to hear you say. Yeah. <laughs> Barbara, excelente, good. <laughs> Barbara, I want it that way. Sí, recuerda esa canción. Muy uh -huh. buena. Ah, o sea que eh, Gisela, tú era, eras fan de los Buster Boys. De hecho, mi, mi tía, que en realidad uh, es así el trato como mi mamá. Entonces, ella tenía un disco original de los Buster Boys. Ah, ok, por eso es que sí. No, Entonces, the, uh -huh. mi, mi papi eh, eh, estaba en Estados Unidos hace unos muchos años y me mandó una cosita de esas que les decía Dickman. Ah, sí, los Dickman. Es, es un reproductor de... de, de Ajá, de sí, sí. Ajá, Entonces, creo que ese era el, 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 el disco que yo había ocupado para, para ponérselo a esto. Entonces, me aprendí muchas canciones. No, pero el Discman, el Discman fue una cuestión súper genial. Un yeah. clásico. Sí, sí. clásico. Creo que todos nos acordamos, no. ¿verdad? El Walkman. Te... No, no. El, el Walkman fue un invento que hasta sale en, en De Regreso al Futuro y sale en todo. Eso revolucionó. Porque antes eran las grabadoras. Yes. Las andaban y todo. El Walkman. Ahora lo ven con eso lo ven raro. Acaba. O, o ya no quieren este, ¿cómo se llama? Audífonos de cable, ¿verdad? Ajá, inalámbrico. Sí, o ya. Sí, también, también yo, ¿verdad? También tengo aquí. Cablecito, cablecito. Esas son las vías, Juancito, que ojos no fallan, ¿verdad? No fa Batería no, infinita. En el bus de a dólar, ¿verdad? Pues sí. Realmente no, no falla. No. No, o sea, ahí la carga, no o se no necesita, porque esa es la incómoda de las demás. Ok, vamos a dar una revisada. Tell me, object pronoun, bien, Giselle. Y you say, también tenemos subject pronouns que están en morado, I, you. Y verbs, tenemos say, si, wanna. Uh -huh. Yes. En esta parte donde dice, tell me why, ain't nothing but a heartache. Entonces, ain't es un, es, es un anglicismo para decir don't o para decir is not or not. Es un comodín informal, el ain't, ain't, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso es se utiliza mucho no. en la... Ah, es como un no, es como decir no, eso, que 
este ahorraje, en lugar de decir don't, en lugar de decir I am not, you are not, el ain't sirve para todo, pero es una cuestión informal, no es un inglés formal. Pero cuando vean el ain't, ustedes solo piensen que eso significa no. Uh -huh. Nada más eh, que un dolor de, 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 de corazón, heartache. Tell me why ain't nothing but a mistake. No es nada más que un error. Dice. Ok, so ya me puse sentimental. Thank you. <risa> Buena canción, Giseli. Ok. Todos se están acordando de esa época de los noventas. Because that was the 90s. Sí, fueron los noventas, si no me equivoco. Sí, esa a canción, ver. teacher. Esa canción la practiqué eh, cuando estaba en séptimo grado. Frank quiere decir que la dedicó. <risa> Buena, Frank. Good. <risa> So, Frank, te van a regañar. No, yes, and you could uh, practice a lot of English con las canciones románticas o las baladas de, de los boy bands, así como ellos. Antes de ellos estuvieron los New Kids from the Block, ¿verdad? No sé si Solo en YouTube dice que fue, está hace 13 años. ¿Mm? <ríe> así dice en YouTube, hace 13 años. Saber de qué se acuerda Frank, ¿verdad? No, Frank, miren la sonrisa, miren. Sí, no, ahí está. Sí, lo quiero mencionar, pero la teacher, uh, mejor no sigo. Yeah. Ah, Frank estaba enamorada de la teacher en tercer ciclo. Séptimo, dice que este Frank, por eso es que aprendió inglés. Ah, algo pasaba, se dan cuenta. Sí, algo, algo pasaba en definitiva. Bien, eh, vamos a continuar, solo nos quedan 25 minutos, 25 minutos. And we're going to finish. Ya no vamos a hablar de la teacher de, de Frank. Veo que ponía atención. Ok. Se distrae mucho. Sí, ya veo que Frank. Parece que era un poquito inquieto. Ok. What annoying habits does your family or friends have? Ok. Um, let's listen to some others who are going to participate. Uh, Laura, are you there? And then Marvin. No sé si está por ahí, Lauri. If not. No, no lo vi ese pecho. Ok. Marvin. No sé si no está Marvin. Let me see. And... Gisela, tú no me has comentado, ¿verdad? Hello. I'm here. Yeah. Yes, Marvin. Annoying habits in your family or with your friends? My friends. Uh -huh. we, shall, we go to the stadium. They like to smoke a lot and it's very um, uncomfortable. Yes. That's and annoying. And they don't like to smoke in, in front of myself or in my face and it's, I don't like it. Yeah, definitely. And, and that I guess that maybe you can get sick sometimes. A veces uno se puede enfermar, es peor. It's, it's worse when you are next to a person, smokers. Okay, so Mar Marvin, you're really happy because past won, right? Marvin, you went to the stadium? Yes. Okay, very nice. I was uh, in the stadium. Celebrate. Okay, andaba, andaba celebrando. Uh, okay, no the detail. Don't give details, no se preocupe. <laughs> okay, nice, Marvin. Um, what about Gisela? Any annoying habits in your family with your friends? Uh, no sé cómo decirlo, teacher, pero se lo voy a decir así en español. Entendemos. Eh, cuando, bueno, por ejemplo, en una fiesta sencilla, ellos invitan hasta los tíos que no... Eh, tengo años ni de ver. De, de ok, ver. que no hay mucha comunicación, ok. Ajá, so, exacto. Invite everybody. They invite... Hasta el último que ni es tío, but you say uncle. <laughs> they, es tu tío, ¿no? <laughs> ok. Eso yeah. es un <laughs> I guess I guess that that's something negative because sometimes you need to share time with your family. Hay ciertas bromas, some eh, talks, hay pláticas, some conversations that maybe you want to have with some of them, but with some other people you feel strange, se siente extraño, se siente mm, como que va. I understand. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Okay, and after this, we're going to have Elia. What about you? You have Ideí Mauricio. Hello. Um, Elia. 
annoying habit. Um, my son addiction is the electronics game. Mm -hmm. He spends time, pasa tiempo. Yes. He spends a lot of time with games. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, I guess. And that, that is really common with teenagers, con adolescentes, con jóvenes, mm -hmm. es común. It's really yes. common. Sí, okay. No, bueno, pasan demasiado tiempo y les absorbe, les absorbe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because you have to spend time with them. Adiction. Adiction. Yes, it's, it's an addiction. That's correct. <laughs> Thank you, Elia. Okay, very good. And we go with Mauricio and Douglas. Uh, like a teacher, pero no lo hice. <laughs> no problem. Douglas and... What about Abigail and Alexandra? Any annoying habit, Alexandra? Yes, teacher. Uh, my my family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. My grandparents have habit of accumulation in mm -hmm. necessary, thing, in like necessary things. Okay. Yeah. Uh, like closer they don't wear, don't give away, would have them taking of space. But okay. there are a lot of a lot of things. Se acumula muchas cosas, yeah. Uh -huh. Entonces, he, yo, bueno, yo aprendí eso, que al final menos es más, ¿verdad? Entonces, y hay que deshacerse de ciertas cosas y si se pueden reutilizar, qué bueno, y si no, pues ni modo, se botan. Pero como que se encariñan mucho. Con, no, con the, thing, the thing is, la well, in, in the case, well, I know that maybe close not, but in the case of tools, a veces hay herramientas, there are some nails, hay clavitos. And well, in my mm -hmm. case, that happens that we have some things, maybe we can use it later. Pero lo podemos usar después, mm -hmm. pero bueno. A veces acumular, yeah. acumular is not so positive. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Abel. Are you there? No sé si está por ahí, Abel. Yes, teacher. Okay, what about you, my friend? Any annoying habit? Mm, bad habit with my family. Okay. Um, the parts the from that family mm -hmm. part of my family as we are neighbor they in bedrooms ah okay mm -hmm. uh, invent rumors hay rumores yes oh yes well that's really really negative I can't imagine ya puedo imaginarme well it's all bad. <laughs> yes, and, and sometimes it happens with extended family, con la, con la familia extendidas o extensas, es una que pasa. And that's really disgusting, but I understand, Abel. I understand. It's dispensable. Yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry. Okay, thank you. Uh, yes? Falta yo. Sí, te llamé, creo que... No tenía sí, pero señal. Es que yo, no, yo pensé que iba a pasar alguien primero y después yo, pero yo estaba esperando en mi turno. Vamos, ok, Elisa, tell us, cuéntanos. Me talking about my coworker. Ok, coworkers. Mm -hmm. Ok, they even talk about chowdo. <laughs> they are well communicative. Communicative. Hmm. Okay, they like <laughs> to communicate a lot. Sí. Okay, I'm so sorry. Any, any. Mm -hmm. No, all. <laughs> okay, well, I'm so sorry, and that's something uncomfortable, realmente incómodo, okay? And it's common in the company. Okay, my friends, eh, nos quedan 18 minutos, 18 minutes. We're going to practice this conversation y después venimos con un poco de vocabulario, okay? Um, de sinónimos y de uh, opposites. Okay, shopping for a sweater. Vamos a comprar un suéter acá. Dice, pardon me, 
pardon es como decir excuse me. Pardon, que es pardon me. Pardon, pardon me. Could you help me? Of course, no, of, of, of course. How can I help you? I'm looking for a sweater. Sweater es el mismo suéter que decimos nosotros, sweater. What size do you wear? Medium, medium, I think. Here, how do you like this one? It's pretty. Can I try it on? You can try it on in the fitting room over there. ¿Verdad? Que si se eh, trying on es eh, probármelo. ¿Puedo probármelo? Sí, te lo puedes probar. En los eh, vestideros. O oh, dressing room. Two. Excuse me. Can you help me? Certainly. Certainly. What can I do for you? I need to purchase a sweater. What? Is your size medium should be fine. Is this one okay? Can I try it on some more? The fitting room is in the left corner. Okay, entonces tenemos que, um, yeah, purchase, ya saben que es compra. Okay, and finally, here we have um, conversation three. Excuse me, could you help me with something? I'll certainly try. I'm looking for a nice sweater. What size do you wear in a sweater? Medium is my size for shirts and sweaters. Here's a medium. What do you think? I like it. Where can I try it on? We have a large fitting room in that corner. Okay. So let's check if we can have some. Oh, this. Vayan, ya nos mandó. Gisela, ni me he dado cuenta que habías mandado la canción. Ok. Oh, no se las puedo poner aquí. <risas> es cierto, es cierto. Quisiera, pero no se puede. Ok. Francisco, vaya. Creo que va a pasar escuchando eso toda la noche. Ok, I'm <risas> going to uh, present this for you to. Uh, maybe you can help me, Juancito, please, number one. Uh, yes, teacher. Could you help me? Yeah, number one, uh, no problem, right? Here we have number two. Uh, las capturas de pantalla quiere que le envíe? Yeah, please. First, please. Okay. Number one. Number one. Then here we have. Number two. One moment. No problem. Take your time. Number one. Okay, this is number, number two. two. Yeah. And finally, here we have number three. No eres Giselita, te creemos. Ánimo. Ánimo. Ya casi se acaba. Solo 10 clases más y se acaba el curso y de ahí vamos para December. Y vamos a estar libres en las noches de September. Que están esperando. Eso. Ok. We're going to practice a couple of minutes and then we come back. Le damos la última práctica y pasamos lista. Ok, my friends. So. Let me see. Ok, see you in a moment. Vamos a practicar un momento. I need you to accept. Ok, Florcita, vamos a ver si aceptamos. Bien, Abel, en tu caso, hay que aceptar también. No me aparece para aceptar. Permítame. Hágalo.
Okay, we're going to check the last uh, practice and we go with the attendance list. Uh, Janet, nos ayudas con el number one, please. Who was your classmate? Uh, Alexandra. Okay, Alexandra and Janet, please. Number one. Okay, please. Okay. okay. Pardon me, will you help me? Of course. How can I help you? What side do you wear? Hey, how do you like this one? You can I try it on the in the feeding room over there. Very nice, thank you. Good one. What about number two? Frank, can you help us, please? Con Abel. Okay, Abel and Frank. Conversation two. Okay. okay. Excuse me. Can you help me? Certainly. What can I do for you? I need to purchase ice swear. What is your size? Medium should be fine. Is the one okay? Can I try it on software somewhere? The feeding room is the left corner. Perfect, thank you. Can I try it on? Try it on, good. And what about, yes, but thank you. And what about the last one? Maybe we can have Florcita with number three, please. Okay, teacher. Uh, mm -hmm. Start with Berito. I can start. Okay, Berito and Flor. Excuse me, could you help me win some time? I will send her it right. Uh, looking for a nice wear. What side do you wear in a sweater? Medium in my side for sure and sweater. Here is a medium. What do you think? I like it where I can try it on. We have a large fitting room in that corner. Thank you. Very good. So, look, okay, uh, excuse me, can you, with something, something, because sometimes is algún tiempo, something. Okay, my dear friends, I'm going to check the attendance list, reviso la lista de asistencia. Eh, verdad, no se desconecten hasta que terminemos con todos. Ok, Abel de Nilsson, hello. Present, teacher. Thank you. Abigail Elizabeth. Present. Perfect. Alexandra. Present, teacher. Hi. Ana Silvia, sé que está un poquito indispuesta. Brenda, no se conectó. Carlos estaba en inventario. Douglas, hello there. Eh, Elia. Good night. Good night. Eh, Flor. Present. Perfect. Francisco. Present, teacher. Good one. Gisela. Present, teacher. Okay, Gisela, hoy te quedas con la sesión one, one and one, okay? okay. Eh, consulta, Francisco, ¿podrías presentar la canción mañana? Yo la presenté. Phil de William. Mauricio ya la presentó. No, teacher. Ajá. No, Mauricio sería. Eh, ¿Podrías mañana, eh, Mauricio, o te dejo para más eh, adelante? Uh, sí, sí, no hay, no hay problema. Ok, mañana. Ok, mañana va su. Thank you. Eh, Mauricio, si sí está acá. Juancito. Hello. Thank you. Eh, Julissa, no sé si al final se, se conectó. Eh, Laura, hi, Present. Marvin, thank you, Marvin, okay, I'm Janet, me. perfect, Present. Present, okay, good, Janet, Saul, 
I'm her okay. present. Uh, Liz Sanchez. Y present, good night. Thank present, you. night. Ok, recuerden que ya deben de haber terminado la unidad 2 y el midterm, ¿verdad? Eh, si no, háganlo después de, de aquí la clase, ¿ok? Bueno, friends. So, see you tomorrow. Descansen. Nos vemos mañana. Okay. Sí, sí. Acordándome de eso. Sí, en el midterm hay, hay, una, hay una oración que me está dando duro. Es la única Va. que no es... Escribíme en el chat, me hubieras dicho temprano, Frank. Sí, hasta ahorita que mencionó eso. Me escribís, yo... me escribís, porque ahorita la voy a revisar. lo de su mico. Eso veo. Exactly, exactly. Ahí, ahí me, me mandas no, la captura. La ¿De qué parte? Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. tomorrow, everybody. Bye. See you tomorrow. Ok, Giselita, vamos contigo. Eh, veamos. En este caso, te está tocando pesado con los horarios, ¿verdad, Gisela? No, lo que sucede es que me levanto temprano y salgo, y salgo tarde. Mm -hmm. Ajá, entonces, a veces, este, bueno, como cuando salgo de, de la casa, tengo que dejar a mi niña a la guardería, de ahí la tengo que ir a recoger, vengo, ya vengo un poquito cansada. Entonces, por eso. Sí, Giselita, lo sé, te toca pesado, pero, pero ánimo. Ya estamos por terminar, solo nos quedan 10 clases. Mira, sí. ya es lo último, ya en la noche van a estar tranqui. Este, sí. Consultas, preguntas, dudas que tengas de algunos temas que hemos estado viendo. Eh, fíjense que a mí me costó, me costaron unas oraciones en el, en el, en el, ¿cómo se llama? En las tareas. Uh -huh. pero es que yo no sé si es que las hacía mal. O, o de verdad no, no, no sé, creo que era del tema de ayer, lo de Google, algo así. Uh -huh. Entonces ese tema no me queda muy. Vaya, pero lo demás, eh, pero pudiste hacer los, ¿cómo se llaman los? Esas, la, las tareas. Sí, pero solo me, me, me salieron buenas tres de las cinco, creo yo. Vaya, porque el día de ayer, ya te digo, presenté esta imagen. Ajá. Y esta imagen, ya te lo muestro, es esta. Esta imagen es donde se explica principalmente el uso del wood, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, el wood like o oh, wood like to, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Afirmativa, negativa y pregunta. Sí te llegó en el chat, ¿verdad? ¿Lo viste? Uh -huh. Sí, la vi. Vaya, hiciste las oraciones basándose en esto, o no, sí. no, no la tenés. Como no, pero es que no sé qué hice, man. En como dos, de hecho, dos, una del examen, solo una me salió buena. Y de los ejercicios, dos no pude hacer, pero estoy tratando de, de entrar a la, a la plataforma y no. Vaya. Eh, si no, lo que podemos hacer es, si tienes dificultades o cualquier cosa, eh, me mandas una captura o algo de alguna quizás una oración o algún ejercicio que, que te esté costando bastante y vemos Ajá. de qué manera ahí te apoyamos ok Giselle okay, porque la unidad 2 la terminaste sí la terminé solo, solo fue esa pero es que yo no sé si es porque a veces pide ahí hasta lo de lo de el punto y la aquí es la puedo compartir mi pantalla pero es, es el, el qué? El, esta tarea, de esta tarea, estas dos, no sé, yo, yo, yo según creo que también. <ríe> ¿Ves? Uh -huh. Esas son las únicas dos que le puse de todas las formas y no, no, no me dio. Uh -huh. ¿Ves? Toda, así todas las escribí aquí. <ríe> uh -huh. ¿Y el punto no se lo pusiste? ¿Cómo no? Aquí con punto. Okay. punto. Vaya, vaya. Mm. Igual acá lo mismo, con punto y sin punto. Uh -huh. Y así. Creo que ese es de las tareas con lo que más me costó. Vaya. Ah. Y no, no revisaste porque yo mandé esa, esas opciones, creo que las mandé en el chat de, de Zoom de ayer. ¿No las viste? No, no la vi, teacher. Ahí, ahí las envía, envía la, la, para los que tenían dudas. Ajá, Pero, okay. Déjame ver ahí y yo voy a ver tu nota. Ok, 
¿verdad? Cualquier okay. cosa, ahí me escribís, ¿verdad? Ok. Y vamos a, ya le voy a dar, dar una revisión. Si tenés una buena nota y todo, no, ninguna okay. preocupación, pero a veces la plataforma da problemitas. Ajá. Ok, Gisela. Bueno, nos vemos mañana, entonces, ok. Cualquier sí, cosa, sí. ahí me escribes. Muchas gracias, Gisela. Pasa feliz, Pasa feliz noche. Bye, bye. bye.